Hello and welcome back to the training. So in this video, I will walk you through exactly how you can utilize the Selenium IDE Chrome extension tool in order to warm up your accounts. I'll also dis discuss exactly, you know, from the beginning until the end, how you can make a recording and how you can set it to really time out and take your time. Along with that, making yourself templates so you don't have to continuously go back and remake these things. So let me go ahead and walk you through the process of how easy it is to utilize this tool. So I will take you over here to this particular account briefly. Now, once inside of your account, okay, let's, let's say for instance, that this particular account you just purchased, it's a, it's a two month old or a month old account. That's relatively fresh. That's PVA. So phone verified account within the region that you want. The very next step uh, that you will want to do is you will want to go ahead and launch this project. So we're going to do create a new project or better yet, record a new test in a new project. So what we'll do is we're just going to do this as a demo, a demo warm up. And really what I want to emphasize here is depending on the types of projects that you're doing. You know, I thought about to myself maybe offering templates or, but I think that everybody's way of curating, because I do primarily local. So when I'm curating a perfect account to leave perfect reviews, I'm literally going to local places. I'm doing local things. I'm checking out local Yelp reviews. Like I'm setting the sequence to be like a real account that has real history from a real local person. Um, so that's what I highly suggest that you do. You're trying to curate from beginning until end the best account, the best person. Um, you know, the search history is, I have found to be massively important. So um, base URL, uh, when you first go inside of this toy, I don't know, um, I was Jabber John. Let's, let's come back in here and um, we'll start back from the beginning just in case maybe perhaps I jumped over something. So you click on your extension once it's installed. The very next step is you will want to click on record a new test in new project. So that's at the very top. You'll name it, whatever you would like. I would segment it by town or city, whatever you want, whatever's easiest for you. So for this, we'll just do demo um, test warm up. Okay. And we'll click okay. Now the base URL, this is where it's going to initiate, you know, for me, obvious it's going to be uh, Google. And we'll just do start recording. Now, as you can see here, a brand new window opens up. All right. Now, this is where the the automation, the bot, for lack of better words, will be recording. You're recording basically uh, sequences, um, just like if you were programming a bot inside a bot chief or bot soul or any of these tools that do the programming without having to know code. This is pretty much what they're doing. Um, they're making recordings um, and then you're able to make the little the programming is going on over here. So in order to warm up the account, we have to first set the sequence. So once you did exactly what I shared with you there, we start recording. Then we want to start curating our perfect sequence and we'll talk about more later. Now I'll just take you through briefly. So one of the first things will be, you know, maybe you'll want to go to Yelp. And remember, they're going to be the same. So try to keep them semi um, relevant. I'm not going to just, so maybe then go to this one and you're doing a sequence. You know, you're on here, you're scrolling. You'll type into here. What business are you in? I don't know. Maybe you're in, I don't know, dentist, maybe dentist, Arizona, maybe perhaps. And you're logged in on your residential IP. So worrying about blocks and things along these lines are pretty much non-existent. Um, I just program them right on my main computer. Or if I'm using a VPN, um, you know, like a Nord, I would use a, a Premier one. Like I wouldn't just go use like a cheaper, cheaper one. Sometimes I'll use Nord or hide my ass um, for these types of things. Um, so we'll hop out of there. We'll go to YouTube. The idea basically though, is I'm trying to get a sequence here. 
right? Now I'm demoing it for you. I'd probably take a lot more time and be very hyper-specific. Um, like if I were to have a business, like let's just take for instance, I don't know, um, we go to YouTube now. Maybe we scroll down a little bit. We'll go back to Google. Once we're on Google, here I'll move this over a little bit. I could search for something that's more near and dear, like a uh, best dentist in Brooklyn, I guess, just for instance. We'll initiate a search. As you can see, every single task is coming over here. Once we're inside of here, we could scroll on down. Um, we're going to go to best dentist near me. We're just looking along here. Maybe a normal person would go over to maps, perhaps. Once inside of Maps, you might scroll down, click on maybe your business listing. Please note that it, if, if for some reason, maybe, for instance, you're thinking that this could be an effective way of setting up clicks to a property, not so much. Selenium is flagged pretty much immediately. However, as far as um, adding up or getting search history, browser history, um, it's very effective. As far as having an effective click or utilizing it for CTR or traffic manipulation, not Selenium, it's, it's flagged. But you are, you are able to build up account credibility um, or building up browser actions like a browser history <laughs> without any shadow of a doubt. But as far as it being an effective click-through rate manipulation tool, mm, I, I tried. It doesn't work. But in any case, moving down here. So as you can see, I, I won't uh, bore you with the tedious process of building up a template that's going to be hyper specific to what is important to your brand and for building up this account. The main objective here is though that you only have to do it once, right? You want to make it relatively long. You want to bounce around. You want to go to different things. Um, maybe you might want to top, maybe top dentist in Brooklyn. Okay. Once you're on here, you might go here. This could be your website. Um, you'll say, maybe you'll scroll down and you're like, wow, okay, let's go to the uh, website now. Cool. Great. We're on the website. I'm like, ah, no, maybe that's a competitor and you just hurry up and bounce. Go back to google.com. Um, and this will really take care of the templatization. All right. So once that particular element is done and you have a nice long list, um, this is how you built your template for the automation or warming up process of the Chrome account that you just purchased. You can make these a lot longer. I would highly recommend making them a lot longer, making them hyper-specific to location. Um, and what you'll do then next is you're going to go ahead and just stop this, stop the recording, and then what you'll want to do is we can just maybe just do like demo test ace one two three we'll just say okay and then what you'll you'll see here is now you have this template all right so what i'll cover in the very next video very briefly is how you will go ahead and set this up to automate and to warm up the account and how we can adjust speed maybe even add in other types of templates but i look forward to seeing you in the next training i'll see you then